Hi everyone, today I'm here with this Glamorous Skull makeup look for you. This is a little bit out of my comfort zone as I normally don't do these types of makeup looks. I don't have much experience with costume makeup, but I gave it my best and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out for my first kind of skull makeup look. I'm starting out on the eyes and I'm going to create kind of a glamorous, glittery, dark, smoky eye. I'm starting out by using dark browns in the crease and building it up with blacks and I'm using a big fluffy brush to blend it throughout my crease to give that nice smoky effect. I'm then taking just a straight black and packing that on my eyelid because again, this is going to be a dark smoky eye. I'm then taking a pencil brush and taking that on my lower lash line and getting it nice and smoky and taking it down pretty low, lower than I would normally go with a smoky eye, but like I said, I want this to be pretty smoky. I'm then going to be taking this kind of liquid slash creamy glitter eyeshadow. It is from Stila, I believe, and I'm just going to be putting this all over my eyelid. It's nice and super pigmented as you can see. There's no fallout. It's super easy to work with. It gives you that wet metallic look. So I'm just putting that all over my eyelids, making sure to stop before I hit the crease because I do not want any glitter in the crease area. Once that is completely dry, I am taking my pencil brush and I'm going back in with a black eyeshadow to deepen up the crease and make it even darker and smokier. I'm then going in with my big fluffy brush again, taking some more black and bringing it up a little higher because I wanted it to be a little more intense and just take it up a little higher so it's just a little more bold. I'm going back in with the pencil brush and taking it underneath my lower lash line just to darken it up a little bit more. I'm then going in with a glitter eyeliner and this one is from NYX. It's just a silver glitter liner and I'm putting that on my inner corner and I use this a few times throughout the video. I'm then taking a flat liner brush and just a black eyeshadow and I'm tight lining my upper lash line as well as my lower waterline. This is really going to help start to define the eyes, make it look a little bit darker, and really start to give it that sultry, smoky effect. I'm applying some mascara here, and then off camera I did apply some pretty dramatic lashes. I wanted the brows to be pretty dark as well, so I'm going in with a black eyeshadow on a flat liner brush and just filling in and defining my brows as I normally would, just with a darker color. Once my brows were filled in, I wanted to add some glitter, so I'm literally just going back in with that glitter that I used on my eyes and just putting that right over my brows. Moving on to the face, I'm going to start by highlighting the inner parts of my face using a white eyeshadow to kind of give it that more dead, kind of lifeless look. I already look pretty, pretty pale in this video, but Got to make myself look a little more pale, so I'm just taking that in the areas that I would normally highlight my face. Now I'm going in with a black eyeshadow. I'm going to start to contour my face a little more dramatically than I normally would, but I want to start to give it that sunken in kind of feeling and that definition of the skull. And I'm just kind of starting to define my cheek area and bring it down all the way towards my mouth. I'm gonna start taking this up towards my temples as well. I'm gonna go in on my forehead in a minute, but this is just going to start to 
really contour and sink in the face. Here I'm starting to take it on my forehead. You can see the black is very difficult to blend so you just really have to work with it and basically break your hand and arm with the blending process. I'm just contouring in the normal places that I would contour and just really making sure to push it back into the hairline so there aren't any harsh lines and so that everything blends nicely. So right now it looks super dull still. You just have to start with a little bit of product and keep building it up to get it as intense as you want it to be. I'm going to start taking that down the sides of my chin to give it that skull shape. This is where it started to get a little more difficult for me and you can tell that I just kind of struggled with the mouth area a little bit. I'm starting with a black liquid liner to kind of shape out where the mouth area is going to go, kind of deepening up my lips as well. I'm then taking the flat liner brush to carve the teeth out and I'm starting out, it's going to be thicker on the bottom and kind of taper upward just like a tooth does and I am following the same lines on the bottom part of my teeth as well. I took these teeth out pretty far and later in the video you see that I completely get rid of them. I went a little overboard on taking them out too far on the cheeks. So I am then going in with a white eyeshadow and just whitening up the teeth area a little bit. This is where I was kind of like, what the hell is going on with this? This doesn't look right. So this is where I'm taking the black eyeshadow and contouring a little more, deepening it up. And here I start to blend out those teeth because I was like, I'm not happy with those. It's too much. They're going out way too far. Not the look I was going for. So I'm just blending it out. It was a pretty easy fix, but because it's black, you know, it's just a little harder to blend out. So you just have to work with it. Here it just shows that if you make a mistake, you can easily fix it and it's not a huge deal. So I am just deepening up this contour area and you can really kind of see it start to pull together now. And you can see that if I kept those teeth like way out there, it totally would have just thrown off the look and not what I was going for. I'm making myself even a little pastier in those highlight areas using a white eyeshadow. I then I wanted my teeth to be kind of glittery because like this is totally a glam skull so I'm going back in with that silver glitter liner that I used on my inner corner earlier and I'm just going over all of my teeth. Like I said earlier the face is a process and you just gotta keep going back and building up the color for it to be as intense as you want so I'm going back in with black eyeshadow to kind of contour back in with the white to highlight kind of give it that dimension. So I'm creating the nose here and I'm using a black liquid liner to do this. I'm then filling it in with some black liner and black eyeshadow as well to really deepen it up and make sure that my skin is not peeking through. I wanted a little pop of glitter on the nose as well so I'm taking that glitter liner and just putting it right on the ball of my nose. This was the fun yet frustrating part for me was putting the pearls on my face. It was so hard to get to stick to your face but once you get them it looks so good. Put a few at the top of my nose and I first started out by putting four like where the front of my teeth are and off camera I did put one for each of the teeth. I'm then going to be taking a few black ones and just putting that on my cheekbones just to give me a little more pop and oomph and boom that is it for this look. I hope you enjoyed this look and I hope you have a great Halloween. 